Do you have any good luck rituals before a performance? Yes, two. One, I warm up. My, my singing teacher made these uh, two discs for me. Me, 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 louder camera. Word of time. Me, 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 me. Come on, guys, open your mouth. Drop your jaws. Me, 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 me. You can't do it unless you guys want to do it. <laughs> Katie as a performer has always been fearless. She believes that she can do it and stepping up from theatres to arenas though took just bringing that whole matter of scale with her. So she really worked on her voice, took vocal lessons to strengthen the voice because you're really going to have to be putting out for an hour and a half to two hours every night about five times a week. Yeah. I want to do more falsetto stuff. Okay. What is my vocal range on the lower to, from the lowest to the highest? Do you think? Because fireworks an E. If fireworks goes to an E flat. That's the highest one you do full. Voice. Yeah, full voice. But yeah, but that's but high. People, people tell me all the time. God, I tried to sing along with fireworks. It's really high. Yeah, it's not easy to sing. No. So what is my range? You think? It's almost three octaves, which is great. You know, sometimes people exaggerate things and they'll say, oh, so-and-so had eight, uh, that's impossible, eight? no one has that. Yeah, but I mean, what? they'll throw around those ridiculous terms, which are just totally ridiculous. What does Mariah think, have? Well, that was the one I was going to say, she and Minnie Riperton, because they had that whistle register that went super high, so that gave them another octave. So I think but they how said much? Mariah had four, I think. But Mariah can actually sing in that whistle, yeah. sing words. Some people can only hit right. that whistle here and there. But right. she can sing like a whole song. She she is really an exception to the rule. That oh, yeah. whistle and everything. That that's what made her so special. Right. I wanna sound good, perform well. It's not like I get some kind of pass because I played a really good show for them two days ago. And then I have a little prayer thing. It's a box and it has like little individual prayers. Pick one today. The bridegroom and the bride are singing glory in glory ever, forever satisfied. Oh. 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 This is like a marriage. Yeah. Yeah. The presence of God in my life as a young person was absolute. It wasn't phony, it was absolute and it is still in my life. What were you allowed to listen to? Um Gosh, I've erased those songs out of my mind so much. <laughs> I will give you this. Whenever there is like some TLC or like NWA on. Salt and pepper. Or salt and pepper. You know all Every word. of the words. But that's yeah. only because I was deprived as a child. True. You were. I'm not so definitive in what I believe because I'm being influenced every single day you know, by the different cultures I'm around when I travel the world and I'm on tour and I see different people of different faiths and different ideas and thoughts and learn about their history and their culture, I think to myself, well, God, I'm, that really expands what I thought. So my thought on all of it is continually evolving, hopefully to a great place. Hopefully there'll never be a definitive place because I don't think life is definitive. It doesn't matter what other people say or do, it matters what matters is how you choose to react and what you choose to believe about yourself. All right. Every time, literally, I go on stage, as I'm rising on that lift, I'm, I'm saying to myself, thank you, God, for this moment. Give thanks for the great artists. Thank you, God. <laughs> Musicians, scientists, <laughs> and so on, whose work and vision uplift us all. Thank you. <laughs> Whether expressing yourself or appreciating the expression of others, you are part of the magnificent, magnificent circle of self-expression. And I think that like it'll only get better. I'll only continue to challenge myself more and more and more because that's what keeps me interested. Mm. And I know that's what keeps people interested. And I love watching an artist in their evolution. In the middle of this like total circus, I have to remind myself that I am that 13-year-old girl that was playing the blue guitar and writing songs about God. And I think that that person is still very much a part of who I am now and will hopefully continue to be.